Now there's one tool that you may see a little bit differently in a final release version and that is the SQL Computer Manager. You're going to notice that on my uh, CTP version in late September that this is showing up as, if I look under Configuration Tools, as the SQL Server Configuration Manager. Now this may well show up as the SQL Computer Manager. So after release you may see SQL Computer Manager. Not to worry, they're going to be the same thing. These are our Microsoft Management Console snap-ins. And you'll notice it says SQL Server Configuration Manager. You will say SQL Computer Manager. But notice what these give you. First of all, you'll notice at the top, SQL Server 2005 Services. And you see the various services that are running on the SQL servers. Notice, you have to pay attention here though, this is for my default instance, MS SQL Server. And then this one is for Mark for my named instance, Mark and Mark. So notice, that's my server service. You can tell that it is currently running. The start mode is automatic, and it logs on as part of the local system with a local system account. I can see the process ID for it, and I can see the service type. And I'm going to make this full screen so it's a little easier to see all this. Okay. Now, if I want to change this, all I have to do is right-click it, and notice I can start, stop, or pause it, or I can go to Properties, and I can work with those here just like you've seen lots of times before, very similar to what you've seen before in other places. Okay, so that's how I can set whether it's stop, start running, so forth. Now, this gives me a chance to work with services. Now, network configuration, notice I can expand this and I can see protocols for each of the servers that I have recognized here. So for SQL Server, you'll notice Shared memory is enabled, named pipes is disabled, TCP IP is enabled. If I want to enable named pipes, simply right click, choose enable it. Or I can go to properties and I can see some more information about these. Then my native client configuration, client protocols, again, I can see that the way the protocols are being used, the order that they're being connected in, and if I don't like that, I can right click, go to properties, and I can change the protocol order if I would like and I'm going to leave this off and I can do, there are some things I can do with aliases and I can set new aliases and I want to get into that right now but that is what you're going to see as a SQL Computer Manager most likely but this is another little tool that lets you take care of client configurations this wasn't exactly hidden in previous versions of SQL Server but it was amazing how many people didn't readily know how to get there to do this kind of stuff so it puts it all in one place uh, as an MMC so that's the SQL Server Configuration Manager or the Computer Manager depending on what it finally turns out in the final version